So today's video comes courtesy of China Lace Wigs. You guys know I love my friends over at China Lace Wigs. They sent over one of their hot new items. This is a 10 inch deep wave bob. And this is what this beautiful specimen looks like. It is a 360 lace wig. And what's really cool is they have a new item. And basically it's their dream lace. This lace literally is a dream. It's super soft. And this is what I look like with the 10 inch bob. I really, really, really love it. The lace is amazing. But I felt like it needed a little bit of oomph. Because it was 10 inches and it was curly, I feel like I could have slayed it so well. But I kind of wanted some color. You guys know I'm obsessed. So I'm going to take this L'Oreal Quick Blue. I, let, I went to Sally's and I just bought a whole container. And I just decided to use the whole container. Now, a 40 is the highest developer you can buy. Um pretty much anywhere unless you have a license and if you aren't a licensed cosmetologist you can get a 50 volume I low key found it on Amazon but I kind of chickened out and didn't want to use it I'll have it linked down below if that's something you want to use and basically a 50 is just going to get you to blonde a little bit faster than a 40 but again a 40 is a little bit safer because it is made for us who are not licensed and did not go to school for this I will use it in the future to show you guys the difference um, between a 40 and a 50 but today I just did not want to ruin my lace. Like, I really wanted to slay this wig. So, because I'm using the whole bucket of um, the blue bleach, I'm going to need a lot of developer. And because it's a powder and you're mixing it with the liquid, it is very easy for it to clump and you kind of mix, you know, forget spaces to mix. So, it took me a good minute to go ahead and get all of the mixture completely saturated in a nice thick texture now I didn't want it too thick because I did um, want to apply the the bleach to the wig while it was standing up so I didn't want it too runny to where it would just be running off the wig and onto my floors I do have a huge my huge old comforter for my old bed set on the floor beneath because I don't want to ruin my floors and I just kind of want it to be protected because y'all yeah, I do make a mess with this type of stuff if you want to lay it like flat on the countertop like on top of a garbage bag or something I feel like that's the safest way to not mess up your home your kitchen or whatever area you're using or if you have a garage that's nicely ventilated that will work great too in my case I have the air on and the door open so that I don't um freak out from all the smell because the smell is very strong now all I did was I went and sectioned it into about four sections section it as small and small of sections as you can I would honestly recommend six to eight sections make sure you're wearing gloves because this stuff does burn I've tried to be Superman before many of times and tried to go without and it burns literally literally burns like you fucking need to go to the hospital burns so don't do that so again I have four sections here and I'm just going to go ahead and go as fast as I can. Now understand that the area that you start applying the bleach to first is the area that will process fastest or have the most effect. So basically when you see the wig when it's done you will see that this the back area on this wig is super blonde. The middle is kind of medium and then the front is a little bit more of a darker blonde. Like this is blonde blonde and by the time you get to the front it's like a nice golden honey honey blonde. I knew this beforehand and this is exactly what I wanted but if you kind of want the ends darker or the top darker or anything like that just be mindful of where you place the bleach first and last. Again in you sections by using the clips and stuff that way you can kind of know what section to use also if you really want it to lift um, faster use foil at this point I'm going ahead and I'm taking like a tangle teaser style brush and I'm just kind of working the product in now here's where I made a mistake I twisted the hair up into a bun you never want to pin the hair that you're processing any little thing that you do to the hair while processing can affect the way um, the bleach works on the hair. So by twisting it and pinning it, those areas, those crevices that kind of bend may process a little bit different than the rest. And you might have your have like spaces that are like lighter or darker, but not in a good way. Kind of like in a crimped way where it is messed up. So make sure that you keep the hair laying flat. If you want to bend the hair up, use foils to like lay the hair on, cover it, and then flip it. 
it so that all of the hair processes equally and evenly if that makes any sense but foil is definitely a great um, option to help you to go ahead and process the hair faster like you don't want this on too long but you really want it to process a lot like get really 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 light use foil I chose not to in this video but it definitely would have made a difference in the entire in the entire wig would have probably been at least a shade or two lighter in every section so even though I went ahead and sectioned this wig into four different sections you can see here that four sections is still not thin enough especially because this hair is deep wave texture um, so you have to make sure that you part the hair twist and turn and get in every crevice because what you don't want is big patches of natural brown um, hair you know when everything is supposed to be blonde and it's very easy to skip a spot which is why I'm using this tangle teaser brush to kind of help me work the product in kind of spreading the hair apart with my fingers and making sure there are no areas that are um, missing bleach now with the process you can see all I've done was apply the the bleach to that next section and the back is already smoking it's already hot and it's already blonde so again, that is going to be really, really light. I actually love the color that the back came out. I wish the whole wig would have been that bright. But again, I could have used foil in the top area to kind of make it work faster to kind of catch up with the back. But with this process, I definitely believe practice makes perfect. And, you know, just practicing and trying different methods and such will help you to learn what will work best for you. Now in the front, um, originally I was just going to apply all the bleach all over the entire wig and at the very very last minute, literally at when I got to the front, I was like, you know what, let's keep a dark root. I really didn't know exactly what shade of brown or blonde this was going to come out, but I did use a quick blue which works a little bit faster at processing than the original or the regular BW bleach. So it kind of helps to, it's basically a little bit stronger so that it'll basically process and get you to blonde a little bit faster. Anything you can do to get to blonde faster will be best for the health of the hair, whether it's your hair or, um, you know, bundle hair or wig. You don't want the bleach to be on there for an hour per se. You kind of want to put it on there and figure out what products I can use, aka using a strong bleach, using a higher level or strength of developer, and using foil to process the hair faster than to just use like a 10 volume or 20 volume, which if you use a 10 or 20 volume developer on this hair, you'd probably have to leave it on an almost an hour, probably even more, just to get it to the color that we got it, which is why there are different levels and strengths of bleach now I didn't really have a rhyme or reason for the top I knew I wanted the roots to be dark I knew I didn't want it to be too chunky or blotchy so I kind of just went after I was done I kind of just um, feathered it out a little bit so that um, there was no like harsh chunky areas I wanted the root to be dark in the very front everything else to be blonde and then at the end I kind of just start to scrunch it up um, I don't even know if this was going to help but just in my mind I felt like because I wanted it to have the same natural texture in the beginning I did not want the hair to process bone straight like if it was smooth and straight it was going to process and make the curls not come back but if I kind of left some texture in there while it processed it may be less likely again I don't know if this helped but in my mind it did um, but the hair itself was awesome you know when I washed everything out it did not here I am trying to get a screenshot but as you guys can see um, off camera I went ahead and rinsed the dye out and I forgot I wasn't filming I let the hair process for about 20 minutes all I did was I once I finished um, applying the bleach I came and cleaned out the um, sink and loaded the dishwasher because there were some dishes kind of cleaned off my countertops and cleaned up my space from um, doing the bleaching process and then once I was done that I immediately came to the sink so that took about 20 minutes and this is where I was I probably would not go past 30 to 45 minutes like in my mind I would never ever ever allow bleach to sit on the hair for more than about 40 minutes once I'm done like an hour just just it doesn't seem right if it doesn't seem like it's processed enough I would rather you go ahead and remove the bleach um, wash the hair let it dry and then start over and do a second process then to just keep that same process going for that long because you don't want to ruin the texture of the state of the hair no matter what texture it is but you guys can see here there's no finesse to it I'm using a purple shampoo and my tangle teaser style brush to go ahead and um, 
make sure that all the bleach is out look how gorgeous that looks bruh i gotta get a screenshot of this for the thumbnail like i literally sat here and put the wig in different angles because i really really wanted to get a bomb thumbnail for you guys but there's no finesse. I used the purple shampoo from Ion. Ion has been my favorite um, brand for color processing for a while. Um, I feel like their purple shampoo is bomb. Um, their developers are bomb. Just everything about their products are bomb and they help to give you a great finish. If you want a nicer bleach, I do love the Ion bleach. It has a pleasant smell and it's not too, it doesn't have the kickback that like the BW does. But it is a little bit more pricey and the container is a little bit more small. So if you kind of are um, trying to be a little bit more cost effective I would stick to BW or the um, quick blue which we use today so I do want to tone it I'm using the Wella T28 toner and this is going to give us a nice natural blonde it's not going to go ash or anything like that it's just going to cancel out any orange yellow that may be in it to keep it more of a normal non clownish look and then you do one part um, of the Wella T28 toner and two parts of the developer. The instructions call for a T, oh, I'm sorry, a 20 volume developer. So the quickest and easiest way to measure out and make sure that you have two parts developer is just to fill that um, toner bottle up two times over the bowl and just dump it. I kind of do it very messily and quick. So that if there's a little more or a little less, you know, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Perfect. If you have a little bit more or a little bit less of the developer, it's not going to kill the process. This is just kind of a rule of thumb. One part toner, two parts developer. Makes it up really good because it does separate and go ham and just make sure that you get it as evenly all over the wig as possible. This is kind of one of those things where I don't really section it or, you know, care to make sure that it's perfectly anywhere because this is a 10 inch curly bob I used one container of the toner um, if this was a long wig like usually my wigs are probably 20 22 24 26 I would make sure I have two to three bottles of the toner and then make sure I have the corresponding amount of developer but because this was again a, a short wig I didn't need as much as I would for a longer hair so be mindful whenever I buy toner I usually buy it in like threes or fours I never just buy one bottle of it so I have a ton stashed under um, my countertops now I just took that same tangle tinker brush tangle teaser brush um, this I keep with my hair dyeing processing stuff I never use this brush like in my real hair or on hair that is clean I literally only use that one for processing hair and it is a does an amazing job of helping me to work product through um, whenever I'm bleaching or dyeing and this was the final result I went ahead and towel dried it really quickly I think it came out gorgeous I don't necessarily think it needed the toner but the toner is just a great way to make sure that your look is very professional now I wanted it to be this curly the same exact curls but I just wanted it to have a dry look so um basically this is damp chow dried hair I didn't add any product and I went ahead and diffused and you can see on the left side this was pretty much the result and that's not really what I wanted it did make it frizzy so I just realized okay it needs to be wet and it needs to maybe have a little bit of product um, for a little bit of hold and let, allow it to air dry naturally so I went ahead and added a little bit of mousse and I added um, some water and I went ahead and sprayed it down I didn't get it completely back wet I just wanted to bring back the curls um, without the frizz and this was the look it's so gorgeous I didn't really need to scrunch it either but I just wanted to make sure that it dried with that great definition now off camera, I went ahead and added an elastic band. Um, I also went ahead and swooped the baby hair. I feel like off camera, the baby hair came out fire. If I would have done this on camera, it would not have been this good, this simple, this easy. You also want to make sure that you do like a curved parting around the back to cover up those tracks if you are doing a side part. I kind of didn't finish that curved parting, but you know, just make sure that when you go out, before you go out, you kind of have someone check for you. Is my track showing? Action man. Sometimes he won't even tell you. Sometimes Babe won't even tell me my track's been showing all day. So here I am adding powder to the parting. I am using the MSF by MAC in the color Dark. What I like about this product is that it doesn't have the red. You guys know I'm infamous for using a powder that comes up red. This comes up more yellow. It's a little bit brighter, so I might use the Deep Dark the next time. But it definitely is much better than having the red parting. It is a little bit more natural. 
Oh, I went ahead and shaved my sideburns. You guys see that some work I gave? I was trying to grow my sideburns out because sometimes I do wear my hair natural and it kind of looks bald when I have bald sideburns. But it just wasn't, it wasn't working. They got so thick that it just, everything just didn't look good, you know? And this is it. I went ahead and twisted out the parting a little bit more. I considered going ahead and chopping off maybe an inch or two and taking it maybe to a 9 or an 8 inch bob. But you guys be the judge and let me know if I should trim down the hair a little bit or not. Let me know in the comments below. Finished results. Details on this wig are linked in the description box. Kind of went through way more than I planned to do with this wig tonight. But I just kind of have been in the mood for color. I keep telling you guys, I want to do color, I want to do color. So as long as I'm in the mood to get color, you guys are going to get tons of videos. Tonight was just an experiment. I was sent over this beautiful bob curly bob it was super duper short and when I first put it on I thought it was gorgeous I thought the curls were gorgeous I just wasn't I felt like with the length that it was and the texture that it was I could have done something really cute with it in its natural state but I kind of wanted to kick it up a notch and do something funky and I did these beautiful curls in a sort of like a honey blonde color it's like a, a honey brown honey blonde color the 40 worked awesome because my curls literally are just as amazing now as they were before um and i absolutely love the way the style came out so don't forget to check out china lace wig all of their information is listed in the description box for you guys to check out and to shop don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on your post notifications i actually like it in front of my ear instead of behind my ear what do you guys think yeah, that makes it look even more full. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not going to stop telling you guys. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. That was a tongue twister. But yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.